Here we go, guys. We are in route to an accident, and it happened just outside the fire station. I didn't hear it or see it. I'm actually going down the wrong way onto the on-ramp, so we got to make sure nobody... Okay, it looks like traffic is stopped. Okay, okay, there it is. Somebody flipped. Sounds like two or three vehicles involved in the accident, and I think we have somebody down. So we're going to have to make sure we help them. Ambulance should be behind us. We're the first ones on scene. Here we go. Holy cow. Looks like there's a truck and a trailer flipped. Okay. Oh, there's somebody on the ground there. We're going to help them out. All right, sir. Sir, we're just hang, hang on. All right, hang on. Ambul EMS ambulance is going to get here. Can you... Okay, you look... Yep, you look a little stiff there. Just... Uh, you know what? You're in a good position. Oh, gee. Is there anybody else in the vehicle? Is anybody there? Nope. It's just you. All right, just hold on. EMS is going to get here. Here, put this under your head. There's water. All right, guys. I'm going to... We need to make sure whoever's in this truck, if they're okay, there could be... Again, when the cars flip, our biggest worry is getting everybody... Okay, nobody's in here. They must be out and there's more trucks and trailers down here holy cow guys you see the tire marks somebody must have skidded here i have no idea what's gonna happen but yep it looks like ems is right behind us here we go the ambulance is pulling in they they just gotta cut the grass here i wonder the ambulance drivers okay it looks like he's gonna go the long way man come on man oh god okay there we go he's gonna cut the grass nice oh that's awesome okay let's signal man yep man right over here right over here we got somebody on the ground okay perfect here they come all right, so, sir, hold on. We got you strapped on a board. We're going to get you into the ambulance, okay? We, unfortunately, okay, there we go. You're, you're pretty heavy, man. You, you got to lay off the Twinkies. But anyway, here we go. Come on, push, push, push. I don't know why it's just me helping. All right, man, you're going in. Just hold on, okay? All right, there they go. They're pulling out. Okay, man, don't hit the side. Don't hit the... Okay, they, they got to hit the side, but they're going. They're going to get him in there. EMS actually thought he was better than I described. I thought he was a little worse. But it seems like he could have some back problems, some neck problems. There they go. All right. I don't know why they're going on the side of the road now. But anyway, they're doing it. All right. Finally, it sounds like there's new units coming in. So, oh, I think that's actually Garrett. So he works in a different uh, county. So I requested more units here because we got to get the traffic cleared up here. And I wanted to uh, I wanted to make sure. So all the damage. I hadn't looked at this too much. We got that patient out. And I want to make sure this engine wasn't. It's off right now. Garrett, Garrett, what's going on, man? Hello, hello. Uh, is everyone safe? Do you have any injured people? Yeah, what's you're going late on? to the party. We got everybody out of here. Ambulance took two, uh, took one guy who was in the semi. Everybody else is good. Everybody else is accounted okay. for. And we have one. This Kenworth, this semi is really damaged. And then obviously you saw the flipped uh, toy hauler. Yeah, that was hard to miss. Whoa, how hard did they... Do, okay, do you know what happened? Because this is a lot of damage. Yeah, it looks like they came in and just... This billboard's built a little tougher than I thought. I didn't think a semi would plow right through it. So I guess they were driving down the highway, and then what? They collided, oh, yeah. that one flipped, and he just couldn't stop in time, so it's getting pretty far. Yeah, pretty much. So the semi was in the right lane, and the the truck and the camper wanted to exit. And so they, I guess they didn't see the huge semi next to him. And so the semi had to obviously veer off to the right. And then the camper like hit him and then like jackknifed, lost control and then flipped. So it was, they were coming around this corner here. Wow. Okay. Well, good job getting everyone to the hospital. I'm guessing. So it looks like one person you transported. Yep, just a semi driver. We got him in there and yeah, they should be good. He was responsive and everything, but we just got to get this semi cleared out of here and we got to get that camper flip back over because we're blocking traffic. All right. Any ideas for that? I'm thinking for the camper, we could try using one of our fire trucks. Obviously, they're pretty well built. Yeah, just, it would just get it back on its feet. Because it doesn't look to have too much damage, when I, at least when I was like approaching it, but definitely needs to be pushed over. Yeah, I'm sure they're still totaled, but you know, I'm I, I'm sure the insurance company's going to total it, but I bet it could still yeah. run. Yeah, I, I think we can at least get it, what, just like two feet Dude, over? Dude, it's still running over. right now. I didn't even realize that. Oh, I I hear it. There All we right, go. I'm going right. to use this huge bumper that we have on this fire truck. Push it. Come on, man. The, there we the go. truck runs to go, but the camera does it. Here, maybe hit it and back up a little. There we go. Oh, there we are. I was the one keeping it. Okay, nice. Jump in it. See if you can, uh, see if you can it's, drive it. Yeah, it's almost cleared, honestly, already. Let's see. Yeah, right, I want to get off going. the main road. Okay, yeah, see if you can pull it forward and then just take the exit up there and put it on the side. Okay, it's driving. It's not the best. Sounds but... like the engine's revving at like 3,000 RPM and you're going like nowhere. 
Yeah, it's it's definitely not working the best. Okay, just can you shift to another gear, maybe? Man, this is. Oh, here we go. Okay, it's going a little faster. It sounds like it's gonna blow up. Hey, how are all the gauges? Is it overheating or anything? Man, it, all the warning lights are on. Oh, all the warning lights. Okay, we don't yeah. want it to blow up, but just get it, get it off. Hammer okay. down. Are, is your foot down to the floor? Man, man, it's down. Pedal to the there metal. There we go. There we go. Oh, okay. It's. Just, it's creeping nice and easy well, that's a sure. that's a big camper it's triple axle toy hauler voltage i uh, dude that thing's probably not too cheap yeah not at all okay here we go here we go watch traffic make sure no oh, one's yep, coming yep. nobody's coming we got it all blocked off okay here we go a little further yeah just put it in the grass and then we should be safe honestly go like all the way into the grass onto the side road that should be the best bet all right I'll try making it there. It's and then, definitely getting slower. Yep. The tow truck companies can come in after that. Once he, Garrett gets that there, I think we'll just move the semi. And this should, this cleaned up a little bit. I thought I was a little worried we weren't going to get anything out of here. Okay. The engine has died. It, it, it's off the highway. So. Okay. As long as it's off the highway, tow truck company can get it from there. That way they're dealing with stuff on the interstate. Garrett, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and fire this thing up, man. The semi? Yeah, I already know how to drive it, but hey, let's turn the key. Here we go. Come on. Come on, Skipperoo. We got it, Garrett. 8,000 RPM, 9, 000, or 900, 800. There you go. It's now, idling. See if, you, see if you can get it back. I, You're like really in that. I can sign. turn the wheel. Power steering's really nice in this. All right, reverse. There we go. You cleared it. Okay. Yeah, everything feels fine. I never driven a semi, so I don't know exactly how it's supposed to feel, but. I feel like your bumper is usually not supposed to be dragging on the ground. All right. I'm shifted, dude. This thing is crazy. This huge shift knob here. Here, we'll just... No need to go in the road. We'll just go on the grass here. Yeah, the bumper is pretty messed up. The grill. Wait, Garrett. I Look at the what? exhaust, dude. I never even... They're working, but I didn't see that. How the heck did that happen? It must have... I'm telling you, like, this thing looked like it was going fast. These don't get damaged like this that easily. Like... Must have been flying into that sign. Yeah, they must have been going pretty quick. But no, what I was saying, Garrett, is look at the exhaust. They're like bent backwards. Yeah, the man, the air filters are bent. How does that even happen? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I so it's all bent. I'm not sure what really confused me out of it, but crazy things happen when you get in car accidents. You got to be safe. There's a lot of, you know, that's a lot of metal going down the road, a lot of weight. For sure. But hey, we got it cleared, so that's the good news. Heck yeah. And we better get our fire trucks out of the way and then those semi and trucks can clear out. Yeah, for sure. It seems like the uh, person that you help get to the hospital will be okay. So. Oh, you got a report sure. from, from the yeah. station? Yeah. Yeah. It looks like they'll be making a full recovery. Nice. They'll just be in there for a little bit and definitely wake up with some sore parts of the body, but Heck they'll yeah. be good. All right, we're getting out of here, everybody. I think the semi traffic can clear through now. That's the main thing because sometimes an accident happens and it causes like three other accidents. So the main thing is getting the roads cleared and everybody safe and, and home. Garrett, we did. I did a good job. I guess you came in and I don't, I don't know really what you did, but you're a little late to the party. I helped drive the truck. Yeah, you advised. Kind of. I, I needed another eye set of hands for sure. It's I was your cheerleader. We'll just say that. That's right. All right, let's get this backed in here. We'll shut the doors. If you guys haven't seen it, this is our fire station here on Elm Creek. It's uh, we have seven, technically nine stalls for all our toys. You know, not toys, but I, I like to call them toys because they're so cool. But fire truck scares backing in the ladder truck. Where were you at? That took you so long, Redwood? Uh, yeah, yeah, right at Redwood. And I was just making my way here. I was actually like already in route to this area. When you got the call? Yeah, yeah, they have me stationed here today, and I yeah, decided to make my way over, and it all worked out, so I'll be with you for the rest of the day. Perfect. Surprised the ambulance isn't back yet. They should have... Hospital drive isn't too far from here. Well, you know the paperwork they have to fill True. out. It gets pretty hefty. True. All right, well, good work, man. High five. Oh, yeah. There we Thank go. You. Chest bump. That's right. <laughs> all right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, smash the like button if you haven't already, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see next. More police videos, fire videos, stuff like that. Unfortunately, we still don't have a fire mod in the game where there's actually like a flame and Garrett's eyebrows can get burned off. But soon it'll be in and we can do some cool videos like that. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.